All right, guys, this is Joe coming back to you with another video, guys. And today, we're out in Arts District, and we're going to check out the tap rooms of Brewery Row. You guys, if you remember that uh, video I did a few months back, where me and Ken, we checked out the eight breweries on Brewery Row, well, there's also three tap rooms associated with them that uh, they don't brew any beers, but they, they, they support the local breweries here and have their beers in, uh, in their bars, basically. So we're about to go check those out. All right, guys, today we're starting out at Cerveza, which is located on the corner of Commerce and Colorado. And guys, this is the first of the uh, three tap rooms that we're going to check out. And uh, Cerveza is uh, kind of a Latin style tap room. So they specialize in micheladas. Not only do they carry, you know, other beers of the local breweries here, but they specialize in micheladas. And uh, we're going to try a flight and test out all the flavors. Joining me today is Thomas with DLVTT, all the way from Copenhagen. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm pretty good, thank you very much. You ready it's to... good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Thomas does love Vegas, and when he comes, he comes for quite a long time. How, how long are you uh, going to be in town? I've been here for two weeks now, and I'm here until November 1st, so uh, <laughs> I'm not going back. You're almost a resident. Uh, I wish I would. <laughs> you ready to try some micheladas? I am, definitely. Should be pretty good. You recommend it, so I'll taste it. See if I can, <laughs> if I like it. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's do it then. <laughs> so here's our flight, guys. And normally the flight only comes with four, and it's traditional mango, guava, and pina. But we added a fifth one, which is the the big one in the back. It's watermelon. So they look delicious. Let's try them out. All right, guys. Let's get started. We're gonna start off with the first one. We're gonna go down the line, and on the first one, it's the uh, traditional. A traditional one, so salute. If you like a, I don't mean to say use the word basic, but if you just like a traditional basic michelada, this is very, very good, super good with the tahini on the side, delicious, guys. That was delicious. I also want to tell you guys that the traditional one is they use the number three beer here which is their basically their traditional Mexican lager called Nueva Esperanza. And uh, it's got a 4.8% ABV. All right, guys, we're moving on to our second one. And our second one is gonna be the mango, the mango flavor one. And on the mango one, they use a mango cider, um, which is 5% ABV. So, let's try it out. Salud. I gotta admit, guys, I really don't taste that much mango-y. It's not very fruity. It almost tastes like the first one, actually. <laughs> Still good. I mean, I like the first one. Uh, but if you're hoping for a mango punch, a mango kick in it, it, it it's kind of lacking, actually. Nonetheless, still good, though. Moving right along to our third one, which is gonna be the guava. Now the guava one is made with the guava cider, and this cider has 5% ABV. So, salud. This one, very guavy. If you like guava, very good. I don't know all these still, you know what I mean? Still very good. All right, so Thomas just tried the guava one. What'd you think, brother? I'm not fond of it. No. Let me put You're it this way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a guava guy. And uh, I'll do another one. But... Mm -mm -mm. Okay. No way. That's not for me. Do you think uh, it's from where you're from, maybe? Why you don't like guava? Or you yeah, I probably yeah. Have you had much We're guava? Not from... No. No, no, no I have. <laughs> 
it's a very tropical fruit. So it's, yeah. a, it's a very, very tropical yeah. fruit. <laughs> and it's, I wouldn't say it's more cider, but it's more fruity. Yes, yes, no doubt. Yeah. Now guys, we're moving on to our fourth one, which is the pina one. Now the pina one is made with an Ace Pineapple Cider that's 5% ABV. So, I usually like pineapple, so this should be very good. Let's see. Salud. Good, very good, pineapple-y, very smooth. The spiciness of the tahini, super refreshing. This one is super refreshing, guys. I dig this one. Last but not least, we have the watermelon one, guys. The fifth one, the watermelon one is made from a cider called Sandias from Las Vegas Brewery Beer Zombies. So, I love watermelon. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna love this one, guys. Salute. Yeah, very watermelony kick on this one. Let me, let me take a second to start. I don't know why, but it tastes kind of a little sour for some reason, even though it's watermelon. I wish it was a little here sweeter, I guess, to get that more watermelon effect. So there it is, guys. I finished my flight of micheladas, and I gotta admit, out of all these, I think I'm liking the traditional one the best, guys. Uh, then probably next the coconut one, and then the other three were all fine. But honestly, traditional one is probably the best one that they have here. All right, Thomas, you tried a flight of micheladas here at Cerveza. What did you think? I'm not much of a, <laughs> a michelada guy. <laughs> I'm more a beer drinker. Right, right, right. But, uh, well, I like three of them. Yeah. I like the, the first, the second, and the fourth one. Okay, all right. Uh, but I didn't like the guava, and I didn't like the watermelon. <laughs> yeah, I, I really want to like the watermelon, but I didn't like that one either. No. Hey guys, I also want to point out that they have a walk-in cooler in here that you can buy beers to go. From all local breweries, and breweries from everywhere, actually, that they stock here. And you can just pick uh, any beer you want, and then uh, you just put it on this shelf over here, and then uh, the shelves are numbered one, two, three, four, and five, and then you just go up front to the bartender over there and tell her what shelf you want to buy from, and uh, you pay for it at the bar. Take them to go. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us here at Cerveza. Guys, if you're in Arts District, check out Cerveza Tap Room here kind of off the main street. Like I said, it's on the corner of Colorado and Commerce, guys. Check it out if you love micheladas or you or local brews. It's a cool little spot. Play dope music here. Very cool vibe. But now we're moving on to the Silver Stamp. All right, guys, we made it up to our second spot, which is called the Silver Stamp. And this is what the front looks like. And I know it doesn't look like much out front, but uh, when you step inside, it's a whole other story. All right, guys, we made it down to our second stop, which is the Silver Stamp that's uh, located on, what's the street over here, brother? The corner of uh, Imperial and, and that third right there? Yes. Which is located on the corner of Imperial and Third, guys. And uh, this is also one of the tap rooms that's associated with the Brewery Row of Las Vegas. But it's hidden in the kind of a corner of Arch District where it's kind of hard to find. So, guys, like I said, if you're looking for it, it's on the corner of Third and Imperial. This place is very cool. Right now, during Halloween season, during spooky season, it is decorated fantastically. They got a great <laughs> set of decorations for Halloween. And Chrissy, this is your spot. This is very, a very dark and dank spot that I'm sure you'd enjoy. So guys, here at the uh, Silver Stamp, they have a great selection of draft beers, also bottle beers, but they have my favorite, Guinness. So that's a huge plus. But I'm gonna try something a little different here today. So guys, we're gonna wet our whistle here, and I chose uh, their number two, which is a, a Freem, which is a maple barrel aged smoke porter. And uh, it's, it, it's very high uh, alcohol value, it's a 9.1% ABV, so they only serve it to you in an eight ounce glass, to, to be safe. So let's try it, see how it is. Oh yeah, that is full flavor, that is great. A very tasty beer, guys. I can taste the maple in it. 
Delicious. So as you can see guys, during Halloween season, they have it decorated to the max with a lot of Halloween, a lot of very cool Halloween decorations, guys. This place is, is very cool actually to uh, come if you're feeling in the uh, in a spooky mood. Thomas, this is your second time to the, to the Silver Stamp. How you liking it? I love it here because each time I've been here, it's been decorated and... Yeah, last time we were here, guys, we were here during Christmas and it was kind of a Christmas vibe. Exactly. But now during uh, spooky season, it's, it's, it's dope in here. And it's funny because I've been around Vegas and thinking where the F is the spooky thing. And now I'm <laughs> down at the art district and here it is. I love it here, man. So look very cool, guys. They have their menu, what's on draft, glowing in the dark so it's easy to read and all this darkness which is very super cool so guys we're getting our second one and I'm, I'm, I'm going with the old trusty Guinness because they have it here and our great bartender Bruce pouring it correctly for me which is awesome but Thomas got a number six which is a Bel Belgian dark beer and uh, that's a pretty good beer you got there Thomas it's, yeah, it, it has like a chocolatey undertones exactly super yummy so guys, I'm finishing off with a Guinness. You guys know Guinness is my favorite beer choice. And guys, I just want to let you guys know, a lot of people think Guinness is a very heavy beer. It's not, it's very light. In fact, it's only 4.2% ABV guys. So, so it's, it's not that strong of a beer. It's just me, for my palate, it, it, it's a very great tasting beer that I love drinking. So Thomas is a proud owner of a new Silver stamp. Silver stamp ball cap. So my friend works there, but he in. So guys, that's gonna do it for the silver stamp. You guys, this place is often described as like your uncle's Midwest basement. It's a very chill spot. Like I said, on the outside, guys, it's not very inviting. You you probably would miss it if you would drive by, but guys. If you find this spot, come inside, grab a draft, wet your whistle. This place is super chill. Come see the bartender, Bruce. Super cool guy. You won't be disappointed, guys. Thomas, I'm getting just, said, old. Thomas just said something very funny. No, I, I asked, do you want to have something to eat? But yeah, when you finish your drink, say, but I don't drink that fast. You think I, fa so, I drink fast, Thomas? Uh, <laughs> let, it, let me put it this way. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, when I drink water, I can keep up. <laughs> but when you're pouring down beers, it's going fast, man. It's going so fast. That's what I like about you guys. Guys, here we are halfway through the video, guys, and I just realized that Thomas is wearing my shirt. Of course, Thomas. I have thanks, brother. I appreciate it, man. Anytime, so brother. Much. Anytime, man. So, guys, the next stop on our tap room was going to be three sheets. But I learned they're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays and they don't back up till Wednesday. So today's Monday and they're closed. So why not get some food at the newest food option here in Arts District, which is basically gonna be Nightmare Cafe next to Nightmare Toys.
we seated at Nightmare Cafe, and I, I ordered a brew, uh, Tanaya Creek Bonanza, and some chicken and waffles. And I think my waffle's coming black. So guys, in keeping tradition with the tap room that we had going on today, I got a Tanaya Creek Bonanza brown ale, which is a local brewery here in Vegas. And uh, this is a medium body brown ale that's 5.6% ABV, uh, super tasty, super tasty beer. All right guys, food's here, and I got the chicken and waffles, like Halloween style. My waffles came black. <laughs> I got black waffles and uh, some chicken. Also, it looks like it came with some uh, maple syrup and some kind of uh, like a raspberry type uh, syrup also. So, let's check it out and see how it is. For some reason, I didn't, uh, I didn't get a knife, I just got a fork, so I'm just gonna use my hands. I'm gonna dip it in the maple syrup here. It's like a black waffle. Now for the chicken. Chicken's really good. Yeah. I gotta make it, it's pretty good actually. The saltiness of the chicken, the sweetness of the maple syrup and the waffle. Pretty good. So Thomas got a burger that's almost done. <laughs> How's it, brother? I was hungry. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was hungry too. <laughs> Not bad? No, it's good. Really good. <laughs> I like with the hot sauce on it. There you go. Oh. So guys, after an afternoon of drinking, we demolished <laughs> our meals, guys. <laughs> and it's all empty. <laughs> we ate everything. So guys, for the most part, the food was pretty good. Uh, the chicken tenders were, were, were very good and savory. And, cooked perfectly. Uh, the waffle looked interesting, a black waffle, but my thing was uh, the waffle was a little lukewarm. It wasn't hot. And uh, that's my only gripe about this. Other, other than that, everything was, was, was pretty good. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our afternoon. We're done here at Nightmare Cafe. Unfortunately, we did miss one of the tap rooms, the three sheets one, but we'll, we'll hit it sometime. I'll get a video out for you guys on that one, guys. I'd like to thank Thomas with DLVTT. Guys, I'm going to put his link down below. Check out his channel, guys. Especially if you speak uh, Danish. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do some Danish? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, hi, Alzheimer. Who's a like, subscribe, or come well, on canal? I never had that in a different language. <laughs> you have now. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to do it, guys, for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Joe, and you just watched Straight Out of Vegas. So if you're feeling that vibe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I release future videos. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you.